dream of having a home with a small piece of land one day where I can grow my own food. I know some of us have jobs and lives in towns or cities. Many of us live in an apartment. Some have home with limited garden space. Last year, I started a balcony garden. It was a little imperfect garden. A lot has changed since then. For information, I live in the northeastern part of France, zone so 8A continental climate, which has a cold winter and cool summer. I started out by cleaning the balcony in early spring when the weather gets warmer. I made countless mistakes last year in my garden. Regardless of my best effort in researching, so this year I decided to do some more research but also leave room for experimentation and learn along the way. It doesn't have to turn out perfect. For sewing, it's important that sewing trays or pots have some ways to drain excess water. Soil needs to get moist in order for seed to germinate. However, too much water sitting on the soil could cause the seed to rot as well as a fungal disease. If you are on a budget like me, you could also get some plants from kitchen scraps. They also get plants from garden center and local markets. About a week also, I separate the seedlings. This makes sense to me as it would allow the seedlings to grow more before transplanting to the balcony garden. I received some comments in my first year balcony garden video about the load and safety when putting stuff on the balcony. I want to take this opportunity to talk about this subject as safety is also my number one concern. If constructed according to balcony standard, a balcony can hold at least 350 kg per square meter or at least 50 pounds per square feet. But how much weight a balcony can hold goes beyond these numerical figures. We need to take into account of the size material used, support structures when the balcony was built, local building code, and also weather conditions. Therefore, to avoid any future possible accident, you can proactively look for signs of danger such as balcony sacking, cracking, damaged, or missing parts. Last year, I bought these beautiful practical planters from a local carpenter. This year, I wanted to create two to three more planters. I try to keep my budget as low as possible and use what I have. My husband works on a home renovation project for a client who gave us these scrap woods for me to make a planter. I consider myself an average of everything. I was not the best, but not the worst, at university. 
I'm an average employee. An average skill when it comes to DIY project. An average at gardening. It's ironic because I'm a bit of a perfectionist. I used to think if I don't do things perfectly, I might as well not start it at all. Not long ago, I came to a realization that I don't need to be the best in the field in order to contribute to a good cause and live a life with fulfillment. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for striving to be the best version of ourselves, to work hard and become very good at something. But it should not come at the cost of burning ourselves out, ruining our mental health and relationships, or causing you not to launch a project in the first place. I use this landscape fabric to attach to many planters. Not sure if I recommend these products. It was the only one I found in the garden center. I'm sure there are better options out there. Last year, I installed an insect hotel on my balcony. Some of you recommended to choose the insect hotel mindfully as the glue used might be toxic for insects. Also to get a hotel for a specific type of insect. I was trying to save money. I bought this insect hotel second hand, so my option was limited. And this is not from the brand that I would recommend. There are many other options and design to choose from. These small holes are where solitary female bees lay their eggs, which will hopefully hatch next spring. all potting soil that didn't have any major issues such as pests and diseases. I screened large roots and chunks of material, stones, old nails, broken glass out of the old soil. Potting soils to the oven with the ratio of 1 to 1. I also add slow release fertilizer. How much fertilizer to use should be referred to the package instruction. In case your old soil is infested with pests, it's advised to get rid of the soil completely and replace with the new potting soil. You could also improve soil by adding compost. I'm testing different ways of composting in an apartment. Each method comes with pros and cons which I will be sharing in detail in the future video. I 
I continue practicing Hugel culture, a German gardening method, to fill up my large planters. I layer logs, brown materials such as haze and dry leaves, kitchen waste, and raw material once again. This time I use egg cardboard. I then top up with soil. I don't use this gardening method to every single planter. I only use with large planters that I plan to grow shallow rooted plants. My balcony is a 3.2 square meter or 35 square feet west facing. It receives all the afternoon sunlight. I love my balcony, however, I didn't imagine it would take so much work from cleaning, making planters, to taking care of plants. My first year balcony garden was in the most productive garden I hoped it would be, but I'm glad I started. It has set the foundation for this year's gardening. If you just started gardening this year, I just wanted to say that it doesn't have to be perfect. There's a magic about seeing plants grow, growing your own food. If you make it this far in this video, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all your support. I wish you have a good day or night wherever you are.